Can you evaluate and define trig integrals without trig substitutions? Yes, you can. We will use power reducing formulas and Pythagorean identities from precalculus course to integrate functions sin square x, cosine square x, tangent square x, and cotangent square x. The main types of integrals in calculus courses are indefined integral, defined integral, improper integral, multiple, and line integrals. Defined integral has lower and upper limits of integration, and the result of this integral always number. Indefined integral is integral with no limits of integration listed. The result of integration is function derivative plus arbitrary constant. We will use power reducing formulas to integrate sine square x and cosine square x. The first example, according to power reducing formula, we can write integrand like 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 dx. Now we can write our integrand like difference of two fraction. 1 over 2 minus cosine 2x over 2 dx. Now, according to property of integration, we can write like 1 over 2 integral dx minus 1 over 2 integral cosine 2x dx. The first integral and derivative is just x, so 1 over 2 times x minus we keep 1 over 2. Now, formula. A equals 2 for our example, so we can write it would be 1 over 2 times sine 2x plus c. We can simplify a little bit our answer. It would be x over 2 minus 1 over 4 times sine 2x plus arbitrary constant c. c it is constant. It is answer for our example. The second example, we will follow the same way. We can write our integrand cosine square x like 1 plus cosine 2x over 2 dx. Now we can write our integrand like sum of two fraction, 1 over 2 plus cosine 2x over 2 dx. According to property of integrals, we can write like 1 over 2 integral dx plus 1 over 2 integral cosine 2x dx. Now, it would be 1 over 2 times x plus we have formula, so a, what is a? a it is 2. So plus, we keep, we keep 1 half times 1 over 2 sine 2x plus c. We can simplify a little bit our answer. So it would be x over 2 plus 1 over 4 times sine 2x plus c where c it is arbitrary constant. This is correct answer for your quiz or test. We will use Pythagorean identities to integrate tangent square x and cotangent square x. In particular, tangent square theta equals secant square theta minus 1. Cotangent square theta equals cosecant square theta minus 1. Now, instead of tangent square x, we can write secant square x minus 1 dx equals. Now we can write like difference of integrals. Integral secant square x 
dx minus integral dx. Integral secant square x dx equals tangent x. Integral dx just x minus x plus c. Where c arbitrary constant. It is final answer. According to Pythagorean identity, we can write cotangent square x like cosecant square x minus 1 dx. Next step, we will use property of integrals. It would be integral cosecant square x dx minus integral dx. Integral cosecant square x dx equals negative cotangent x minus x plus c. This c it is arbitrary constant. It's correct answer for our example 4. Thank you for subscribing MSC channel. See you soon.